coming to the tertiary structure so best example i can give for uh, tertiary structure is uh, myoglobin okay and which is a globular protein this myoglobin is a muscular protein which which stores in uh, muscles okay and you see here it's a though it is a single polypeptide though it is a, a single polypeptide okay it folds several times okay in three di three directional folding okay this protein is having a three directional folding okay and gives a complete 3d picture so three dimensional structure of a protein you can say myoglobin it's a compact structure hydrophobic side chains held in here that's what so this is the beauty of uh, this uh, uh, tertiary structure all the hydrophobic amino acids are held inside okay all the hydrophilic amino acids come to the surface of the protein making that protein soluble okay and this type of arrangement ensures the stability of the molecule that means suspending in the biological liquids and uh, what are the bonds responsible for tertiary structure so in primary structure we have seen only peptide bond okay and somewhat disulfide but coming to the secondary structure we have seen lot of bonds compared to uh, along with the uh, peptide bond we do have hydrogen bonds we do have covalent bonds we do have ionic bonds okay based on composition of amino acids present in the structure of a protein right and in uh, tertiary structure we have hydrogen bond disulfide bond ionic interactions hydrophobic interactions so all these type of bonds exist and what are the domains will be used okay the domains which are specific in representation of a particular protein structure okay and this polypeptide in tertiary structure we may contain 200 amino acids okay and all these 200 amino acids arranged in two or three domains you see here the classical example of tertiary structure of a protein so salt bridges that means ionic bridges okay hydrophobic interactions i have shown here okay hydrogen bonding okay and the disulfide bonding okay all these are bonds responsible for tertiary structure making particular protein more stable 